Hello and welcome everybody to this new Let's Play. I am NSF Thunderbird and this is Wings Over Vietnam Air Combat 1964 to 1973. This game is now going on 12 years old. It has been released in 2004 by Texan game developer Third Wire Productions. Other games in the series include ones like Wings Over Europe, Wings Over Israel, and the Strike Fighters games. It's, it has had a whole bunch of sequels, including a re-release of this game, Strike Fighters 2 Vietnam, but alas, I do not have that video game. So, let's have a look at this video game. We have the instant action option, which throws you into air combat right off the bat. We have the singular missions, where here, we have the ability to create a custom mission, fly a whole bunch of historical missions from the Gulf of Tonkin incident, to custom 1v1s, or 2v2s. We have a whole array of Vietnam era planes to fly, from the A-4 Skyhawk to the A-6 Intruder, the A-7 Corsair II, the F-100 Super Sabre, the F-105D Thunder Chief, or THUD, and the F-4 Phantom, concluding with the F-8 Crusader. All of them are modeled in moderate detail. It is not a high fidelity hardcore flight simulator, but for that you get a lot of variety. So, going back to the main menu, we have a little bit of lag, but aside from that we have the campaign mode, which we're gonna hop into in a minute. The multiplayer, which is kind of sort of dead, I, I think at least. And these are the pilot records. This badass right here is me. Multiplayer. And here. Here we have the gameplay options. As you see, I have set everything on hard. We are flying this in the most simulator fashion this game offers. Um, enemy skill level is normal. And everything else is as you see it. Everything is on the highest graphics. The sound looks like this. And I'm going to fly this with my Cytec X52. Let us start a new campaign. We're going to start with the first campaign, Operation Rolling Thunder. As you can see, we're starting in 1965. On March 2nd, 1965, President Lyndon Johnson commences Operation Rolling Thunder a sustained but restricted aerial bombardment campaign against North Vietnam. The objective of the campaign is to deliver a message to Hanoi that a negotiated settlement is preferable to continuing the conflict. Using the doctrine of gradual escalation, in air quotes, the U.S. warplanes will strike limited targets designed to bring North Vietnamese government to the negotiating table. As we all know, in historical retrospect, that did not work very well. We have the choice of the United States Navy, the Air Force, and the Marine Corps. We have the difficulty settings, the length, the uh, aircraft and weapon supply settings. We're going to start with the United States Air Force. And we're going to start... Let's see, which ones are the Bulldogs? Okay, we're going to have normal campaign difficulty. We're going to do a short campaign, because otherwise it's going to be extraordinarily long. We're going to have normal aircraft supply and normal weapon supply. Alright, let's check this out. Operation Rolling Thunder. On March 6th... Oh yeah, we already had this. Three hundred fifty-fourth TFS Tactical Fighter Squadron Bulldogs. Oh goddamn! I wanted to read this. In any case, we are in Thailand, and we are flying the F one hundred five D Thunder Chief. We are a thud pilot. All right, so we have two aircraft in our squadron. We are call sign Trout, 
and we have to destroy a rail bridge in the target area located in Vin. Let's look at this briefing. Situation. In accordance with the Gulf of Tolkien Resolution of 1964, U.S. forces have been dispatched to Southeast Asia to promote the maintenance of international peace and security in the region. 354th Tactical Fighter Squadron Bulldogs is on station to provide combat air patrol, close air support, and aerial reconnaissance as needed. We just strike a strategic target, destroy the rail bridge. Weather, uh, we have 30 nautical mile visibility. Wind, uh, 270 at 5 knots. And that's our briefing. Let's check out our loadout. We are equipped with two 450 gallon drop tanks to increase our range. We have six M117 750 pound bombs. And we have an empty slot here. I think I'm going to put sidewinders in this slot so that I have some measure to defend myself with if we encounter North Vietnamese MiGs. Let's look at the planning map. We start here in Thailand at this airfield, at Korat Airfield. We are going to fly here. Unfortunately, we can't sue them anymore. Alright, this is waypoint 3. I'm gonna... Alright, waypoint 3 is at 9,800 feet at 530 knots, ideal. Waypoint 4 is 9,800. The objective is here. We're gonna be descending, obviously, to bomb the point. And we're going to return by this southern route. There's more Thunder Chiefs here. It does not seem like we're going to be having an escort, although that is not sure. There's going to be Phantoms, Skyhawks, and Crusaders flying there as well. Ground forces in Quezon. Recon Choppers, or Recon Cessnas, I think they are from here. Super Sabre starting from this airbase and B-57 Canberras from here. Let's look at our flight roster. This is us, Second Lieutenant NSF Thunderbird. Major Dan Claus assigned, assigned Trout 1-1 and Second Lieutenant Dave Aries assigned as you know, this is Edwin Baxter, assigned as Trout 1-2. Alright. Let us fly. Alright, here we are. We are in the cockpit of our F-105. I will just quickly L-tab out of the game to activate my head tracker. Unfortunately, this is necessary. Alright, the head tracker is active. I'll just recenter it. All right. I'll tabbing back into the game, and here we are. Head tracker is active, and we're doing this. All right, flaps deployed. Wheel brakes disengaged. I 
not too familiar with this cockpit. So I'm just looking at my instruments here, trying to quickly figure this out. We are at 150 knots. I'm going to pitch up. Oops. We are in the air. Although we do seem to be stalling a little bit. I see our speedometer over there. Alright, we're heading north. Where is our... Well, there we are. Our fly heading... Heading 35 to our nearest waypoint. Now we're going to keep climbing to 9,800 feet. I'm going to switch on our radar. This is ground map mode. We have ground map, terrain avoidance, search, and bore sight. We do not really need bore sight mode because we do not have any radar guided missiles. So for now, I'm going to set it to search mode. Keep an eye out for any possible MiGs ahead of us. We are almost at our cruise altitude. We are at 7,500 feet. Let's set the range to 40 nautical miles. Where's the variometer? Here is our wingman. Where is our variometer? Am I Am I missing our variometer here? Or well, almost at our cruise altitude here? Well, we're en route. I'm gonna activate autopilot. Autopilot set. For some reason, the waypoint was set to a previous one, and it kind of spazzed out for a second. And apparently, the autopilot feels the need to climb. Oh, that thing's my variometer. That thing right there, that's my variometer. Okay, good to know. That's my speed in knots. That's my Mach number. What is this? Min save speed. Interesting. Alright, let's check out this cockpit. Aside from our radar over here, uh, our compass, we have our fuel quantity, our fuel flow, our engine temperature, our oil pressure in PSI, our cruise uh, engine pressure in regards to takeoff settings and cruise settings. Percent RPM, that doesn't seem to be quite right. Drift angle, our clock. Artificial horizon, the backup artificial horizon. This seems to be 
backup 